Henri Brocard was a French meteorologist and mathematician. He spent most of his life studying meteorology as an officer in the French Navy, but he's best known for his contributions to mathematics. In geometry, he's regarded as one of the founders of modern triangle geometry, and certain features of special triangles have been named after him, including the Brocard points, Brocard triangle, and Brocard circle. In 1876, he became the first to state a problem in number theory, which now also bears his name, Brocard's problem. Start with the equation n factorial plus 1 equals m squared. Remember that the factorial of a positive integer n is the multiplicative product of all the integers from 1 to n. For example, 5 factorial is just 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which equals 120. Brokaw's problem asks for what positive integers n is the equation n factorial plus 1 equals m squared, satisfied for some positive integer m. Because only integer solutions are involved, the equation n factorial plus 1 equals m squared is what's known as a Diophantine equation. The problem was posed independently by the extraordinary Indian mathematician Srinivasa Ramanujan, in 1913, and so is sometimes referred to as the brokaw ramanujan problem. There are only three known solutions to the problem. These are n equals 4, 5, and 7. When n equals 4, n factorial plus 1 is 25, that's 12 times 3 times 2, plus 1, which is 5 squared, so that m equals 5. When n equals 5, n factorial plus 1 is 121, which is 11 squared. And when n equals 7, n factorial plus 1 is 5041, which is 71 squared. The ordered pairs that satisfy the equation are known as Brown numbers. So, the known Brown numbers are 45, 511, and 771. It's an open question whether any other solutions to the Brokaw problem exist. So, are there any other solutions? In other words, any other Brown numbers? The consensus among mathematicians is that there aren't. The prolific mathematician Paul Erdos has conjectured that there are no more solutions beyond the three already known. And in 2000, mathematicians Bruce Berndt and William Galway published the results of an extensive computer search. In their paper, the brocard romanogen diophantine equation n factorial plus 1, in the Romanogen journal, they announced that no other solutions exist for n up to 10 to the 9, or 1 billion. In other developments, A. Dabrowski in 1996 and Florian Luca in 2002, have shown that the equation has only finitely many solutions, assuming another unsolved problem in number theory, the ABC conjecture, is true. We might be tempted to conclude that if there are no more solutions to the brocard romanogen problem than the three already known, for n up to a billion, then very likely that's it, and there just aren't any more. But that doesn't constitute a proof. There are examples in mathematics of conjectures holding true up to some immense value, and then suddenly failing. We're reminded again that in maths, proof is king, and the Brocard or Brocard Ramanujan problem remains open until proved otherwise. <laughs>